Please look at the image that I have given you. Now try and understand what it is. All right. If you did not get it, now at my friend Rafi, the cipher, what is given there? Rafi, uh, please read it out. All right. Yeah, that is indeed true. That translates to what which is name of, which is the name of the language that I am trying to decipher. So it was able to decipher what it is which is not in use right now, it is extinct. But how was it able to do that? This is Pratik GK, a 15 year old student from KRM Public School, Chennai, India. From my childhood, I had interest to learn computers, computer technologies such as app development, game development, web development, cyber security, cyber forensics, again, a lot more. And I have presently learned programming languages such as C, C++, Python, JavaScript, Java, Lua, Lu, Julia, a lot more again. So I have learned all these through the process of self-learning. Whatever I have learned is through self-learning. Now, coming back, you must be wondering how was Rafi able to do the decipherment, right? It was able to do that through the help of artificial intelligence, AI. And it also makes use of a technology to understand what is given there, to recognize the characters. And for that, we make use of something called uh, OCR, which stands for Optical Character Recognition. Now, let me give you some hints, right? certain hints, and take certain applications like Google Lens, which we mainly use to find answers for the homeworks that teachers give us. Microsoft Lens, we use it for the exact same purpose. And image translation service of Google Translate. Now, among these applications, think about what is common. So if you would have used all these, you might know that the common feature is the usage of camera. Not only that, it is also the recognition of text, the recognition of characters. Now that exactly is OCR, the usage of camera to try and understand or recognize the text. So that is OCR. We basically implement OCR to try and recognize the characters of what is in the given image. All right, that's done. But how do we translate it? So, for translation, we make use of the AI model. For AI model, to give good results, we have to provide it with, with a good amount of data. That is important. Now, being a student, being a child, I have many responsibilities. Study for exams. Do all the homeworks without the usage of Google Lens, of course and help my parents in household activities. With all these work around me, it is difficult for me to spend much time on collecting the data. So that is why I relied on scraping. Scraping in technologies mean a method to obtain large amount of data automatically. That made my work easier. Now, I went to Google searched for what are the inscriptions pretty simple it gave me certain results i scraped them through a scraping platform now having that data scraped i should not directly feed it to the ai you know why it is because of the ugly structure of the data that we collected the data that we collected is going to be ugly so nobody likes complicated things, right? We want everything to be simple. Same for AI, it wants the data we collected, which is complicated to be simple. Now, what do we do? You might have guessed it. We try and simplify the data. So we structure it in a way such that the AI model will be able to understand it. Now, you must be wondering what is an AI model? It's very simple. 
AI model is the brain of the infrastructure that we are building here, right? In our case, it's the translation of Wattlet. After having it uh, structured, after having it collected and structuring it, now we feed it to the AI trainer, which in turn trains the model. So our AI finally gets the data it requires. We start a training process, right? We start it. Now, after the training, we will get an accuracy, right? We will get an accuracy, which will tell us how accurate the results provided by the AI is. Now, at first, I got 88%. You see, the number looks pretty huge. It looks like a big number, but it really isn't. It really is not a big number in terms of AI. Now, the reason I'm saying this is because here you will you will see. Now, let us see what an accuracy of 88% can give us. So now, let's just wait for a certain number of time because the AI model will take time to give us with the results. So I've provided it and it should be here with us. There we go. So we got the result right now. You see that we got the result, but the results are not accurate. The spelling of words, the grammar, everything is not right. So the result we got here is a waste of time. Will I stop here? Absolutely not. So I again started a training process with an aim to improve the accuracy, which skyrocketed the accuracy to 96%. Now, this is a pretty good accuracy for an AI model, right? Now, let us see what an accuracy of 96% can give us. Again, I'm feeding the exact same data to the AI. So let's wait. There we go. So we got the results. And this time, the grammar is right. The spellings, they are correct. And overall, the translation looks good. So what we got here is an accurate translation. But wait, how can I say that it's correct? Because I myself have no idea about Vattalitha. So that is why I approached an epigraphist who is presently working on this topic. And I was indeed able to confirm that the results that I got are correct. With that, I, proceed, I proceeded to create a book called Vatalithil Tirukural. So it's a book which has all of Tirukural translated into Vatalithil, which is an old version of Tamil. Right? So Tirukural was said to be written in Vatalithil, which we are not sure of, but still Vatalithil is a pretty old language. right? So whatever we are reading right now for Tirukural, it is present in modern day Tamil, but we are trying and converting it to Vatalithil. So it was indeed released by the hands of the Honorable Vice Chancellor of Anna University, Dr. Vail Raj. Now, this Vatal Tirukural, it has all of Tirukural, by the way. And not only that, I am also working towards the conversion of other languages, just like the book. Now, see, Vatal is not the only old language present in the entire world. There are many things. So now, I would also like to decipher those. I want to make Rafi decipher those. Now, after all these, I started the training of another model again to try and decipher what other languages has to offer. Right? So, for example, we can take Phoenician, we can take Akkadian, we can take pictographic scripts of Egypt, cuneiform. So, I would also like to decipher those as well. So, my friend Rafi may be also be able to do that. Who knows? Let's see. So, that model is in the process of development, which I am developing it. Currently, the accuracy of the model stands about 46%. Now, I got the idea of the translation of Vatalitha, basically an old ancient script, 
it is due to my teacher in my grade 6 period you see every idea has a starting point same in my case i had a starting point and it was due to my teacher during my grade 6 period he told me to contribute something for language i am pretty bad at it i am pretty bad at language so that is why i forgot whatever he has said and started doing my own job that is creating other projects right so after that what next i forgot it then started learning ai which was in the period of covid 19 the pandemic after all that well i suddenly remembered wait a minute my teacher told me that i will have to do something for language now after having ai learned i had many ideas in my mind right i had many ideas i started to look around myself too i wanted to see what can be done for language what can be contributed and i noticed that the inscriptions were present around me i mean in the walls of temple and cave walls ancient structures and and i try i tried to read it but i was not able to my parents told that there were no you know records to read it to try and understand it i approached my teacher even he told the same so that was my aim and that is when i took up the challenge and i wanted to try and decipher what is given in the inscriptions of temple walls cave walls ancient structures and etc you see my friend rafi here he was also one of my robots that i've created during the time of ai so i updated rafi to make the same now you see that was my idea hey pretty i have a doubt how did this idea come to your mind yes rafi so that was because of my teacher well i'll have to give him the credits for making me understand the idea now after that i understood that whatever i had made was because of self learning you know self learning is it's pretty normal to hear nowadays but still i had learned everything without a mentor whatever i have learned is through the help of internet through the help of internet and my own interest and that is why i also recommend you to do something for uh, yourself if you have the desire you can achieve it right so i also want you to decide uh, to decide on what you will have to do since i had the desire to work with computers just like i'm doing right now i was able to make it you can also do the same you can achieve greater heights you can achieve greater success if you have the right desire the right mind to do it and i believe you all must have got some idea from my talk here well you can be proficient in ai you can like computers you can like many things you can also like other things other than computers well have the desire you can achieve it i got featured in sun tv news and many more even a and i so this was something that i was able to achieve through the help of rafi and my self learning thing now whatever i learned was through self learning right without a mentor as i said and if i am able to do it of course you can able to do it right you can also able to do something without any mentor Please, please, let me see that. Oof! Again, Rafi would like to say something. Let us see what he has to say. Okay, Rafi, go on. That is indeed true. If you have the desire to achieve something, you. can achieve it you can achieve greater heights and you can learn it without anybody without anybody's help all you need 
it's a desire to learn it and you will succeed in that area thank you